In this video tutorial, I want to share with you how to add a timer to your presentation. This is not the ordinary timer that you used to get when you are presenting your seminars or any kind of workshop. This is different timer. So for example, the normal timer that maybe people might be expecting is when you are on the presentation mode. So assuming this is my PowerPoint slides and this is from these slides, I want to go into presentation mode. I come to this icon at the bottom over here where I press F5 to start. My presentation maybe when i'm on the presenter mode i will be able to see this timer at the top left over here but this is not the timing i'm referring to maybe this timer can give you the amount of time you have spent presenting but in this case i want to attach a timer that maybe during the presentation at some point i may want my students to be able to take some quiz or to answer a question and i will just give them some seconds maybe five to ten seconds so assuming at the last stage of the presentation before i say thank you i would like to have a new slide over here and i would like to have a simple question to them to them so assuming at the end of the class i have a class quiz that i want to give to the students and it's just a simple question and each student will be given a total of five seconds to answer so i want to design that kind of, that kind of timer that you can use to sensitize the student or to just from from mere uh, flashing your slide the student can have an idea into how much time he has and when the time is up so to do this all you need to do is you need a text box and you need some some animations okay so to add a text box we just come all the way from home and we can come to the drawing tab over here and you can see a text box you just click on this and you can click and drag over here and you have your text box so what we need here is to just add a number so let's say we're adding a number one and we just select it I will reduce the sizing, for example, of the text box. We just set the book click to select the number and we can increase the sizing. So what we can do that from here or from the top over here. We can increase the size from here, from this font I, uh, font tab. So, so let's say we are doing from here by just selecting. You have this uh, brought up. You can use this to increase. Okay, so you can increase accordingly. So let's say we have it at this 115. So it's visible. Okay. So, but to make it much more visible, we want to change the background of the text. So we can come over here. As soon as we set the double click on it, we can see the shape format over here and we can change the shape fill over here. And let's say we give it a simple background, maybe something like dark green. And the text needs to be, to make it much more visible, we need to change the text fill. Okay, so like right now we can make it to something like white and you can see it's kind of clearly visible. Okay, so let's try to make it a little bit smaller and widen the text box. So let's say we try to center it. We just select it and center it from here and we can see it's now centered. Okay, so the next thing we can do is to try to duplicate this very text box. So we just select it and do Ctrl C to copy and then we do Ctrl V to paste to paste to paste to paste until we have maybe let's say about five of those numbers that we want so let's say we try to separate and you can see so the first one is going to be one the second one we're going to change it to be two just text change the text to be two and change this text to be three change this one to be four and change this last one to be five all right so we have them five equal sizing of the text boxes and is equal font style and all so we just select the fifth one so let's start with the fifth one we just select it and we can come to the animation tab over here from the top ribbon you can see animations you can come all the way to this drop down you can see series of entrance emphasis and exit options okay so let's say we let's say we are going with exit options and we specify the first one let's say we go to, we take it okay this is the disappear we took disappear so we'll go with it with disappear for this case so we just say disappear and then we can go to the second one we do the same we just assign disappear to it okay disappear and then we we'll go to the third one which is uh three letter three we we'll put disappear as well and then we we'll go to the fourth one we equally put disappear all right the same thing goes with the first one or the fifth okay we we'll put disappear as well 
So this is the arrangement. The next thing is to add F the last part of the animation. Okay, so we can come to the same animation. We can come all the way down to the timing option over here. So at the fifth one, we just make sure we have the start menu as on click, and then we have the duration as auto, but we can have this uh, set to zero if you want. But then we can set it to one second and then we can go to the next one, which is the four. Then this one, we want to set it to after the previous. Okay, it should disappear after the previous. And then we want to put the duration as auto. And then we want to put the delay as maybe one second. So we can go to three and do the same. Start on pre after previous and then we can make it just one second. One second. And then we can go to later two and then we can make it start after previous and then the same way we put it as one second and then we can go to the first one which is uh, the number one we can start after previous as well automatic and then make it uh, one second right this is the delay so let's try to see generally whether we are right or not by just coming to remaining on animation and we can come to the animation pane to just have an idea of what whether the arrangement we've just put in is correct or not you can see from the animation pane that showcases the position so we just click and we can see from the animation pane that we have it looks like we are currently right because it will start with the letter five four three two one and you can see the arrangement one comes after the other Okay, so let's try to play it and see whether we're right. Let's go to the slide mode by just coming over here. We go to slide show mode and on click, if you remember, it's going to be letter uh, number five that is going to start disappearing. So on click, we just wait one second and it disappears, then four, then three, then two, then one. So which means we are quite, uh, we are perfectly right. Since we have confirmed we are correct, the next thing that we need to do, we may need to overlap them. So let's say this is one, we can bring in two on top of it. We just bring two and put it on top. You can bring three on top of two. And then we can bring four on top of three. And then we can bring in five on top of four. You can just highlight and select all. And then we can come to the edge and drag and move them as a single entity but we've not grouped them so it's just we just move them accordingly so let's try to see for example let's try to go to the slide show mode and just click on it and on click it's going to start the counter on click you can see five four three two one finish so for example what this means is we are going to start the quiz and what is uh, now is a is a quiz and you have five seconds class so start your time starts now stop okay your time up if you like you can do one with stop if you want you can do that but then this is just a bit about how to create timer how to add a timer to your powerpoint slide to make your presentation interactive and maybe you have a quiz or you have any kind of assignment or you are going on break you can make it static you can make it you can insert time timer to it and makes the and make the experience worthwhile if you enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very very useful videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.